Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand about variable length subnet mask. To understand this concept, you should have enough knowledge on subnetting and subnet masking. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos in our previous classes. So every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have a better understanding of the concepts. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. So let's try to understand what is this variable length subnet mask. And this is our previous uh, in the previous classes where we have divided a network of 256 system into four subnets each system is con consisting of 64 systems each system each subnet is consisting of 64 systems and each subnet is having equal number of systems what if what if we want to divide the same uh, divide this uh, subnetworks into three sub networks we have divided into four sub networks what if we want variable number of systems in a sub network so let's try to understand we'll take the same example same ip addresses and we will discuss how the division is going to be so that we will try to understand okay okay so the requirement is we have to develop three networks. We need three subnetworks. So far, in our previous examples, we have covered four subnetworks, and each subnet is network is having equal number of systems. But now we want to divide this entire possibility of 256 systems into three subnetworks. So one subnetwork, and this is the second subnetwork, and this is our third subnetwork. And this subnetwork is going to have 128 systems and this subnetwork is going to have 64 systems and this subnetwork is going to have 64 systems now how the division can be done so the ip address is 194.24.2 so the network id the network id this of this network is 194.24.2 and these are the host parts eight systems will be allocated for Hosts and as it is a, a class C address, eight systems. Okay, now how this division can be done is it is done in two ways. The first way is considering this bigger network first and later dividing this two networks. Uh, the, the remaining half uh, with the remaining half of IP addresses, we are going to divide those uh, IP addresses into two halves or considering these two networks first these two networks dividing uh, the entire possibility of 256 ip addresses into 64 and 64 first and from the remaining we are going to consider we are going to divide this entire network there are two possibilities two possibilities of uh, uh, subnetting we will consider the first one so first we will divide the entire possibility of 256 systems uh, into two halves first and the remaining half uh, the remaining half of the ip addresses into again two halves okay so now as we are dividing 256 possibilities are there with eight bits we are dividing this into two halves first two halves means we are going to consider the first half so two halves means one bit we have discussed about this in our previous classes for example if you want to divide it uh, the entire possibility of ip addresses into uh, four sub networks then two bits eight sub networks three bits 15 sub networks four bits okay so uh, we are dividing this into two halves so zero has been taken okay and now what is the possibility for this networks it is from all zeros to this is the subnet mask part so the remaining host id parts is going to be seven zeros to seven ones seven zeros to seven ones means it is going to be zero to 127 so the possibility is between 0 to 127 and what is the network id for this sub network it is 194.24.2.0 what is the directed broadcast address the directed broadcast address is 194.24.2.127 and what are the host ids that are possible for this network the host ids are between 1 to 126 okay so this network and what is 
and how many IP addresses now we are left with? We are left with left with remaining 128 IP addresses as we have taken so we have divided this entire possibility of 256 into two halves and we have taken the first subnet mask as zero and here what we will do is 194.24.2.8 possibilities okay already zero has been taken and the second half is going to get one and and the second half is going to get one and again this uh, uh, this one so uh, we have used the zero and the second half is going to get one and this uh, entire 128 possibilities are again divided into two halves so so the next bit has to be considered we will consider this as zero so this now these two bits are considered as subnet mask for this subnetworking subnet mask part for this subnet and for this subnet what is the possibility it is 192.24.2. so as zero has been taken one will be taken for 128 and for this network to for this network to divide this 128 into 64 and 64 the next bit will be considered that is one and the remaining bits are okay how many bits six bits and uh, 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 the range of ip addresses the range of ip addresses is from 0 0 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 1 1 1 and uh, the part is this one and uh, what is the ip address the starting ip address for this it is 127 and for this it is 10 uh, it is uh, 127 to 191 and for this network what is the possibility it is 0 0 so the uh, starting the network id for this ip address for this sub network is 194.194.24.2.192 to the range of ip addresses 112 all ones all ones means it is 255 so the range of ip addresses uh, 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 ip addresses is from 192 to 255 and this is the network id and this is the broadcast uh, directed broadcast address for this sub network and uh, uh, the ip addresses for the hosts are 193 to 254 these are the range of uh, uh, ip addresses for all the hosts in this network and what is the range of ip addresses for this it is 120 it is 128 right this is not 127 it is 129 to 190 okay so this is how this is how uh, the things will get divided now what about subnet mask what about subnet mask so the subnet mask how we are going to consider the subnet mask the number of ones for uh, network part uh, them so uh, ones are assigned for subnet part uh, network part and zeros are assigned for host part so how many ones will get assigned for this is the network part right this is the network id part and this is subnet part so considering both the subnet part and the network part is going to be the network part in the subnet mask so we have to take eight ones eight ones eight ones means 24 ones and this is 25th one so it is uh, eight ones uh, assume that this eight ones dot eight ones eight ones and this is also one and the remaining seven bits are going to be zeros so the uh, subnet mask for this network subnet is 255 dot 255 dot okay this is also 255 dot and this is 120 okay uh, this is 128 so the subnet mask for this network is 125.255.255.128 so this is why we call it as variable length subnet mask see here here we are having 25 ones and for this network we are going to have 26 ones because because 8 8 8 24 plus these two also considered for subnetting so total 20 
26 bits are considered for subnet masking here 25 bits are considered for subnet masking so what is the subnet mask for these two networks what is the subnet mask for these two networks okay let's consider how many ones are to be taken 8 plus 2 sorry uh, 8 3 24 plus 2 it is 26 bits so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and uh, here two bits are considered for subnet masking these two bits are used for subnet mask and the remaining six bits are used for host id part so what is the what is the uh, subnet mask it is a 255.255.255.192 so the subnet mask for these two subnetworks is 255.255.2 uh, 255.192 and what is the subnet mask for this network it is 255.255.255.128 so that is what we call it as a variable length subnet mask the subnet mask within the single network the subnet mask is having variable length so can you imagine the routing table the routing table is going to have three networks and the network ids are 194.24.2.0 first network this for this network and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.128 for the remaining two networks it is going to be the subnet mask part is going to have uh, another subnet mask id which is 255.255.255.192 so what you will do is for practice try to uh, draw the routing table for this uh, uh, subnetwork routing table means network id subnet mask and interface imagine your own interfaces and uh, try to uh, create your own routing table so how the routing table will look like hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching